All right, today's daily rehab is about scapular pull-ups or scap pull-ups. And the reason we're going through this today is to help you improve your chin-up or your pull-up and stop you getting neck problems and upper trap problems. Now, we've got a couple of patients at the moment who've been injured from doing pull-ups and it's mostly because they've got their scapular movement incorrect when they pull up. So what I mean is, instead of doing a pull-up like this, where the correct position where you're pulling your shoulder blade down and then you're pulling your body up, what they're tending to do is when they do a pull-up, they leave their shoulder blades up. So they're not getting that shoulder blade down before they pull up. And what that's doing is putting a lot of demand on the upper traps, so they're in this position here, and then the mechanics are on, and most people will get away with it for a while, but some people will end up getting a lot of neck pain and injury as that upper trap and all this muscles from their neck down to their scapula yank on their neck as they pull through. So the way to fix that and improve your chin up is get the scapula down position correct. The best way to do that is use scapular pull up. So what you want to aim for is not doing a full chin up. So you go to your pull up bar into here and just aim to elevate your body and pull your scapula down and then let them go again. So you're not even bending your arms really, you're just going scapular depression, pulling your body up and then coming down. So you're trying to get strong in that first start position in there. And what that's gonna try and do is give you the idea of you've gotta pull your shoulder blades down first set that, then you pull through, which hey, is a lot harder to do a pull up like that than just go straight into the movement, which a lot of people do. But if you wanna be more effective in your chin up and stop getting injuries and stop getting pain up in here, if that's you, then definitely work on the scapular pull up routine. Now, if you find it's too hard or you haven't got that mechanism right, or maybe your brain is saying, I don't know how to do that, you've got the muscle but you need to learn the form, then what you can do is you go from, instead of doing a scapular pull up like this where you're fully loaded, and that's sort of like a closed chain movement, you can go to an open chain movement, but unload it and just do either one arm or two arms. So what you could do, if you wanted some load, is put on a band like this, if you can get it over the bar, like a power band, and just work on the same movement but on one arm. So you can go down to here and then just get yourself in the right position underneath that bar like the same position you'd be in and then just work on can I just pull that shoulder blade down and then release. So not bending the elbow like a pull up, just shoulder blade down and then back and making sure you don't compensate through the back and arch the back as you do it, okay? That's one arm. The other way you could do it is a double arm, and you might have to use a lighter band with that. And this you could do like a pull down, like a lap pull down. So, and even if you've got a lap pull down machine in the gym, do it that way. So if you've just got the chin up bar, use a band. You could also pretend that like this is a lap pull down machine, okay? So you can go into this position here and do the same thing. We do two arms at the same time into there and come up. So either use a band like that, or if you imagine that was a lap pull down bar in the gym, sit in the machine and pull down first. To get you that idea of scapular pressure, then you go through the full chin up. I would do the same thing with the lap pull down. So if you're doing lap pull downs and you're doing pull ups, do that same scapular movement with the lap pull downs. At least practice with that as well. So you can slow it down, get the load, get used to that movement, and get strong through that movement. So when you come back to that pull up, your brain is doing the right thing to start with. You've got the strength to do it. And then you go through that pull up. And so you arrive up in that position without your shoulders up in here. They're down, which is better form, better technique, and better for your neck. See you next time.